guys, welcome to Sim UK and Sail Away. Today I'm going to have a crack at uh, at a race, the Mauritius All Manual Race. I've got 11 minutes and 12 seconds. Um, all Manual Race, the course is in a giant P. All I need to do is control, oh, and I need to control all of the lines myself. So this is... Um, Practice race will start in 56 seconds. I'm completely new to this. So I thought perhaps I would um, jump into the practice. I've got maybe six, seven, eight minutes of practice time to get me into the mood. So I'm doing this because the America's Cup is uh, due to start in two days. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow on the 26th. Uh, that's if wind prevails or stops prevailing. <laughs> it's uh, looking a bit blowy out there, apparently. So yeah, I thought I'd, I thought I'd get a race in. I haven't done a race before. I haven't really practiced it, but it's, um, it's Thursday today, and I thought I'd have a go. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second, bingo. Right, I'm confused. What's happened then? How's this a practice race? Right, stop, race, teleport to start. Oh, it's pretty blowy out here in Mauritius. I can see the track. There's another boat. <laughs> we have a challenger. Nine minutes and 23 seconds left. So I've absolutely less than no chance of winning this, even though there's only one other person, but hey, let's see if we can swing over here and see what this person's saying. Look at that. Now there used to be a chat. How do I get the chat back up? I can't remember at all. That doesn't say good morning, does it? Good morning. Should have put a space in between the good and the morning, but anyway. Eight minutes and 25 seconds. Just looks like it's only going to be two of us today. Oh. <laughs> Reef three is for very strong winds and after you have reduced the foresail. I think 11.6 is that windy. I mean, I could be wrong. So this is basically asking me to... to furl the Genoa. Steve on my boat. I wonder if that's uh, Steve. Let's say, hi Steve. I wonder if that's uh, Steve Chester. That would be interesting if it is. Sim UK versus Steve Chester. Woohoo! Game on. Check, check, check on. Teleport to start. 
Now the weird thing is a tad here that I can't actually tell having never uh, raced a race before I was going to try and sort of get my skills up before I tried something as outlandish as that where would the start be? I can see an awful lot of boys out there but I'm confused somewhat as to what the uh, what the appropriate route is. It's not great visibility today. The swell's not too bad. The wind is looking pretty good. Hopefully we'll have a good race today. size of these waves five minutes pennant one pennant one white with red dot is raised five minutes until start what does that mean is that something I have to do? <laughs> Is that something I need to be aware of? White with red dot. Where's that then? I mean, I am going to have to unfurl the Genoa, obviously. But where's the start line? Oh, I see it. It's over there, look. Now, is Steve going to be jostling for position? It looks like he's heading in this general direction. Flag P, blue with white squares, is raised. Four minutes until start. Oh my gosh. We kind of want to head a little bit over towards... Um, a little bit over here towards the towards the race start, but I am incredibly aware that we are heading smack bang into the wind, so it's going to be an awful lot attacking just to get any kind of forward momentum and Steve has got himself a very nice position over there that I've got to get much closer to him than this. I've got three minutes to figure this out. I am just not getting any wind angle at all here. Okay, there's a bit. Get this boat moving forwards ish. Let's get this boat moving forwards or not. That's 2.6. We've got two minutes to get over there. I think I'm going to... Uh, he's uh, clearly... Clearly more capable than I. Right, that's a bit better. At least we're moving now. So we're going to tack to port in about... Well... Around about now, I'd say. Hard tack support. So, two knots, three knots. I don't want to go too fast, because we'll get there before we need to be there. Genoa. We're going too fast. Let's just 
slows down. Obviously, I want to be in front of uh, Steve. This is Steve over here, I think. We want to be in front of Steve as the rate starts. But he's doing a very... I think he's going to tack to port himself any moment now. I can't actually see where the start is because of the waves. Oh, race starts in one minute. Let's get this open. Open up the main. Get the Genoa. I think I'm in the wrong position here. I thought the start line was... I thought the start line was right in front of us. I'm, I'm worried now that it's actually going to be... Yeah, it's to my right, which means we're going to have to tack in. Oh dear, that's not the start we were after. Still, as long as I don't pass the start-finish line before... before the allowed time. Oh, hang on, this, this one red meaning don't go that way. Oh, crikey, the race has started, look. So we're in a good position, actually. I just need to be able to get over this start-finish line. Oh, no, we're, we're not in a good position. I've got my angles all kinds of wrong there. Come on, come on, we need some forward, forward momentum. I don't care how much we heal, we need to move forwards. Steve has definitely got the edge there. He's got a good line too. And he's cutting our wind somewhat. He'll be blocking us. More experienced sailor there, making me look a bit silly. It's also very difficult when you can't see the... Um, when you can't see the route that you're meant to be taking. So finally, finally through the gate, now we're going to follow Steve because I think he probably does know where he's going. Oh, but having said that, he's tacking back in as well. Okay, we're doing okay here. We've got some speed. But I really cannot tell. Where in the heck we're meant to be going? Where's the next boy? This camera is a shocking design. Oh, I see a boy over there. So I think we might have Steve in our sights here. Because we've caught him up. Uh, and he hasn't really made any progress on us. We're cruising at about six knots, which isn't amazing. I think maybe he's trying to block our wind. He's trying to get in the way of our our wind to drop our speed but I think we might be too far ahead of him and he's heading straight towards us but I think we just about have the pace to get past him and then we can tack in and then now we're in the lead guys we're in the lead here good old Steve on his my boat now the the boy here I think is where we're aiming so I'm about almost ready to tack. Almost ready to tack. 5.9 knots. Where's our competitor? There he is. Not sure what his particular line is. What his thinking is there. I don't like this camera. This camera needs to be changed. But I'm tacking in now. 
I'm tacking in now, I think. This could be totally wrong. Let's move the map up. So, we need to go round this boy here. Down to the jibe mark. Up to the upwind mark. Oh no, 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 no. This is the upwind mark. So we're going to that boy. Okay, so we're going to have to tack the whole way up there. I don't know what's happened to Steve. Hopefully he hasn't sunk. Oh, he's over there now. Goodness me. We're not going that fast this side, I have to say. Let's tack back. I think we were more effective over this way, heading to port. Looks like our telltales are okay. Oh my god, we're still turning. Why are we still turning? Steve is actually right on our backsides. 5.8. This isn't going to be the fastest race in history, is it? But we've got a good lead on him right now. Terrible bit of sailing. I don't know why I'm swinging out so wide. I'm going to have to tack. I mean, that's the only... That's the only thing that can be done here in order to complete the upwind. And we're almost as tight as we can be. I mean, we can come in a tad to say there. That has affected our wind speed, 5.6. The telltales. Oh, no, we're okay actually. The telltales are actually looking pretty sweet there. Let's just take a look at the uh, Genoa. Yeah, I'm actually quite happy with the trim. Any trim suggestions? Ease the lead car and ease the outhaul. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. Okay. That really hasn't helped us. Oh, we've lost our wind angle. That's what's happened there. All right, let's see what we've got then. 5.4, 6.1, that has helped. 6.2, that be up. That's given us quite a bit of extra speed. So not much of a race today. I mean, Steve is still there, but uh, he's pretty slow. And uh, he definitely had the better start than we did. Maybe he knows something that we don't know. Maybe he's going to come through super fast late in the game or something. Now, I think turning in... Is potentially going to give us a better line for longer than pushing out. I don't want to get too far away from the boy is what I'm saying. But that is not a good angle, is it? Wow, that's not a good angle. Cruising at 5.7, Steve is nowhere to be seen. 
I'd be surprised if Steve has the uh, if Steve has the ambition to stay in the race with us steaming ahead as much as we are we've got a good bit of speed here six knots there's only two boats in the race so it's not much of a race <laughs> especially with uh, with Steve falling so far behind us now That being said, maybe he's going for a single tack and he'll come flying up the outside whilst we're losing a bit of time doing these short tacks. I don't really know. I don't really know who has the best idea if that's what he's aiming for. Certainly though, 40 degrees in a uh, north easterly or north north easterly direction is uh, probably going to give you a better uh, wind angle actual wind angle than uh, than being being in a southerly a more southern sort of angle Have said that Steve turned around yep Steve's tacking in Point seven. We are not as fast when we're attacking to the south, <clears throat> but we do have a sizable lead right now. Maybe I'll try a few races throughout the day, see if we can find one with a few more people. Not sure what Steve is doing. Seems to be heading almost straight into the wind there. Maybe he's trying to find us. I'm going to tack back. 5.8 is actually not really fast enough. Now, there was a tutorial um, which was there and intended to uh, hang on a second there we go it was there and it was intended to teach you the the names uh, if you point your boat into the wind in a particular angle they all have different names I haven't learnt those names yet but I will do and the uh, I think the approved method is to say tacking to Attacking to port for a such and such uh, lineup, so that everybody on board knows that you're tacking in and that where you're going to end up, and they can tell that based purely on the wind in their face, I guess. So we're a smidgen faster tacking out this way. Not a great deal, but a smidge. Steve's still in the race. He's not out of it by far. If he finds a decent 6.5 knots, he could be up on us. 6.5 knots, yeah, he could be up on us, no problem. If he somehow manages to trim into 7 knots, then uh, definitely, definitely he's going to be on the way. But we're in a good place. We're in the first place. That's a good place to be. Even if I don't win, at least I was first. For a brief while. in the wrong key there trying to adjust the main 
6.1, 6.2 see with just one touch of the keyboard I've gained us another 0.3 uh, kilometer <laughs> 0.3 knots there That's, it is possible to get some speed up even when you're tacking into the wind I'm not sure what Steve is doing hopefully he doesn't think he needs to be going for that boy I think he might be confused and thinking he needs to go around that boy which is a shame I would like to see these markers on the map not be white I think they don't stand out enough in white maybe yellow this sort of yellow against the blue background for me makes more sense but we are pretty pretty much flying right now So guys, who's your money on for the America's Cup? Who do you think? Uh, who do you think's going to pull it out the bag? As I understand it, there's no Australian contingent this year, but uh, two or maybe even three of the favourites uh, are all captained by. Australians, which is interesting. We are bang on line here. This is good. I think Steve's given up. I think Steve has accepted his fate. I'm going to carry on, though, because uh, I'm interested to see what kind of acknowledgement I get for uh, having completed a race. Let's get these sails trimmed. That looks pretty good. Can't see the boy yet, it's coming. So obviously you got the Oracle team. Yeah, I think Steve got confused there. He's gone round that boy thinking that's what was was what he's meant to do. Maybe I should tell him. Steve, that boy is for the Not sure he's even reading his messages. Maybe he doesn't speak English. You'd think he would speak English with a name like Steve. But, uh, yeah, well, you never know. So, yes, I was wrong. We don't actually have the angle for that boy. We are going to have to tack and tack. In fact, 
unless we're getting a really good speed here I think I might consider tacking now So anyway guys, back to the America's Cup, um, obviously I'm without a shadow of a doubt putting my money on Sir Ben Ainsley, he is by far the most British <laughs> of all the uh, helmsmen out there, so uh, yeah, I'm going to have to back the Land Rover, the Land Rover team and Sir Ben Ainsley, I don't really have a choice, it's in my blood quite right too I'd say wow tacking really far out whoa too much too much so one final tack then and we'll be on the uh, we'll have completed the upwind and we'll be on the jibe mark But, uh, I mean, we have a comprehensive lead now. If I lose it here, I'll, I'd be um, distraught. <laughs> Absolutely distraught. There's no way I can lose from this position. So just checking on the uh, America's Cup website, which is americascup.com, in case you're interested in looking at that. I can see that Dean Barker has um, recently left the New Zealand team and joined the Japanese SoftBank team. That's interesting. Uh, they could be the, uh, the unexpected challengers. But we'll see we shall see now I do not want to tack too early here so I'm just gonna hold off just for a moment got a good bit of speed up actually I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Now's a good time. If we get it wrong, we're in trouble. Well, we're not actually, are we? I mean, we're so far ahead. Hopefully this will be the easiest race I ever have on Sail Away. There we go, we've got plenty. In fact, we can actually get quite a decent line on here. And if we get it a little bit wrong, we can pull it back. So we should be getting six and a half to seven knots now. I think with a bit of trim, I could probably get a bit more out of this. 6.3 knots. I'm going to tighten that sail up a tad. And the Genoa. Pull them both in. That's, that's actually not making as much difference as I was expecting. I mean, this is a casual sail now. No, that Genoa is not right. Um, 
what can we do for the Genoa here? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna change our angle in, <clears throat> in about a minute anyway, but um, I'd like to get the Genoa. These, these are not making the differences I was expecting it to. Maybe that's a bit better. Yeah, that's that's better. Let's just sort the main. There we go. 6.5 we're looking for. True wind speed of 12, point, 12 knots. We're not getting 6.5 at all, are we? That is not happening. It's a good job there's nobody here who knows what they're doing. Otherwise, we'd be uh, getting our butts kicked. So, we have passed the upwind marker. Technically, we haven't because it's still there. But uh, according to the game, we have... We can get nice and tight here. Oh, that's too tight. I'm happy with that angle. Let's adjust the sails. That's not what I was looking for. That's not what I was looking for either. Come on. Jenica. Get the Jenica up. Hopefully get some serious wind speed going on here. How are we doing? 6.4. Okay. That's a bit more like it, guys. 6.5. I'd like to be getting as much as 7 if I can down here, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. S I'll tell you what. Considering Steve uh, went off and rounded the boy at the bottom, which he didn't need to do, he's actually not that far behind us. And uh, I suspect that his um, I suspect he's actually quite a bit faster than we are. Oh, I'm struggling here. We get the Genoa unfurled as well. Oh, we are healing seriously. Look at this. I think maybe the Gen uh, the Genica needs to come in. inexperienced sailor there very nearly tipped the boat but we're just not getting any speed
The Jenica was definitely giving us more. I think maybe I've got the uh, the line too tight. Let's let the main sheet out a tad. Ah, I want to get the traveller out. Come on. Whilst I'm messing about down here when I should be going fast, that is not fast. Okay, I think my first idea was the right one. Let's fill up the Genoa again. And uh, get the Genica back up. I was right the first time, I think. Now, if Steve comes round the upwind marker and heading towards the uh, the jibe marker, starts kicking our butt. See, look, we're doing seven knots now. This is far, far better. Let's check the trim. The main is not good. The Jenica sheet is too tight. that fixed. So easing the traveller was the right move. 6.9 knots. Now if Steve comes around that top boy and uh, is holding 7.5 all the way down this back straight, he's going to catch us a lot. And if he can hold 7.5 down here, he can probably do the same for the finished straight. And uh, give him a good chance to catch us. It looks like we're quite far ahead but uh, a decent sailor could reel that in. So obviously at the bottom of uh, this run we're going to jibe. So I'll call the obligatory jibe ho. But uh, not yet, obviously. Yeah, for a brief moment there, we were cruising at seven. There's definitely more speed to be had here. I'm not entirely sure I'm capable of getting into it. Apologies if you can hear my daughter in the background. Um, she is, she has autism. Uh, she is autistic, or on the autistic spectrum, and. Uh, she finds some things difficult and uh, we just kind of have to roll with it and deal with it as best we can. She recently turned five incidentally, a little bit of uh, inside info. So uh, she had a fantastic birthday, she really enjoyed it, she was very excited about having a birthday party and we invited about 10, and 10, 10 children to come and join her. Thankfully everybody accepted um, and my hat goes off to the parents because she can be a handful and some people uh, want to avoid that kind of thing but uh, everybody was cool, everybody was nice. Uh, and she had a really great time as a result. Here we go, jibe coming up. I 
can't really see where the boy is. There it is. Okay, I've got it in my eye line now. Oops, wrong way. Ready to jibe. lost the wind completely here what's going on goodness me jibe ho I get the impression that the mane is too tight, but we'll see, we'll see. And which way do I need to go around that? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to have to come in a lot tighter than this. We're not going that fast anyway. So we might be able to see Steve on his, uh, on the jibe line. Oh, Nelly, that was way too much. That'll do. Something like that. Get the main sorted. That looks pretty good. Hey, okay, we've got some speed now, boys. 7.4. Bit of luck there, I'd say. So, Steve's somewhere over that direction. Wow, what happened to our speed? Ease the out hall. Okay. Jenic is spot on. The main is pretty close. Do we have a message then? We'll have a chat with some people. So we've been going 36 minutes now. Where's the van? There we go, there we go. We were doing so well. Then I listened to the uh, the trim master over here, and uh, we lose speed. So it seems. Oh, you can close channels. Hey, that's cool. It does get a bit busy over here. So now, okay, so we want to know who's in the race. Oh, I see, it just opens them all back up again. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, we're learning new stuff. So it looks like uh, for our first ever race, we're going to come in with a bit of a win. We see Steve out there somewhere. Let's 
change our uh, change our view a tad. Crikey, where is he? Cannot see him. I think he's gonna. <laughs> it looks like. Looks as though he's gonna take a shortcut. Steve from Tamworth. So he sailed to Madagascar. What badges does he have? None, it seems. Well, Steve from Tamworth. Maybe we'll race again and uh, let's send him a direct message, see if we can get some conversation going. Hi Steve. How are we doing? 6.7 knots. I mean we're not flying, but we're not exactly in a competitive situation to be fair. So I'm less concerned about our current speed. And we're nearly there now. Final boy is coming up. In fact, I might even be able to see it. So we'll round the boy, open the Jenica fully, let it all hang out, and try and roll in as fast as we can down the finish, start finish straight. 41 minutes this has taken and uh, I don't know about you guys I don't know if anyone's still watching but uh, for me that's gone pretty quickly actually Steve isn't talking I don't know why it's possible that uh, Steve from Sims and Stuff YouTube channel, fellow firm bus player. It's possible that he is um, he is the Steve. It's possible that they're one and the same people. I don't know from where Steve hails, but uh, I know he plays this game. There's the boy. There's my boy. Got to stop doing that, sorry. Turn in a tad. sheet out turn in for the final stretch oh wow that's a lot less angled than I was expecting and I wasn't expecting the jibe either Right. Well, I tried to guess what the wind situation would be when we got here. I seem to have failed at that. Getting absolutely nothing at all. Gonna have to go to the trim doctor. The main is too flat. Yes, he's the outhaul. But the thing is, it doesn't look like that, does it? The sail does not reflect the image here, so it's very...
Bad language is not needed for sailing. Your chat may be blocked if you persist. What the hell did I say? Hmm. That's, uh... Interesting. I did hear that there were some people um, abusing the chat system and um, they've really clamped down on it. But I, I'm, I haven't said anything that should should warrant a warning like that. Let's just make sure we're online here, which we're not. Wrong way. Anyway, uh, let's. Uh, that distracted me. Let's ease out the. Uh I wonder what happens if we pull the genera out as well. I don't think this is a, a normal practice, what I'm doing here. In fact, it's slowing us down. So we'll fill that back in. Uh, let's ease out. Jenica. Let's ease out the main. That's not what I meant to do. Wow, we are so slow down this final stretch. What have we got here? Main sheet traveller. I think that's okay. Don't need to reef. Genoa's up. Uh, yeah, the Genoa's felled. The Genica's up. I don't know. Let's go to the trim. The top of the main sail is far too open. And we, what happened there? Did we just jibe? How did I manage that? Very nearly, very nearly fully jibed there. Still, there's the start finish line. I'm not sure why we were threatened with chat block. Good morning. There was a jibe. Sorry about that. Lost a member of the crew there. Um, oh, for goodness sake. Go away, way. Terrible finish to a race. I do apologise. Okay, I wasn't touching anything then, so I don't know what that was all about. We're going to come in first place and we'll have a badge saying that we've won a race, which is awesome. 47 minutes and 24 seconds. Congratulations to us. Uh, let's send Steve a message and say... Thanks for the race, even though I don't think he's reading them, and I don't think uh, I don't think he's reading them, and I don't think he's going to respond either. But that's it. First race wasn't much to it this time. There's hardly anybody in the race, and it wasn't very close. But uh, we competed and we won, which was unexpected. So uh, there wasn't much more I could do about that, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you join me next week where I'll be doing more of the challenges. Enjoy the America's Cup over the weekend, guys. The weather could be fantastic. The wind could be at its absolute maximum that they'll allow for the race to continue. And um, that can only be a good thing. So 
Take care of yourselves. Till next time. Goodbye.